Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to evaluate variable expressions with fractions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Evaluate y minus 5 6 when y equals a negative 2 thirds. Okay. Well, first step here is I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewrite my y minus a five six. And we wanna take this negative two thirds and plug it in for y. So to do that, we have negative two thirds minus a five sixth right here. Hmm, we can't subtract these fractions as is. They don't have a common denominator. So we'd find the LCD, least common denominator. Well, with three and six, well, that's just 6, right? 3 times 2 is a 6. Not too bad. So, when I rewrite this, I'm going to write negative 2 thirds. If I multiply 3 times a 2, I multiply the numerator by a 2, I know I'm going to get a 6 in the denominator. Minus, keep the 5, 6 there. The right fraction doesn't have to change. From there, negative 2 times 2 is a negative 4 over 3 times 2 is 6, minus a 5, 6. We have a common denominator, so we're good. So we can combine the fraction here. Six is in the denominator, negative four up top minus the five. Well, negative four minus five is like plus a negative five. So negative four plus a negative five, negative nine. Negative nine over six here. Now lastly, negative nine over six can be simplified. Both are divisible by three. 9 divided by 3 is a 3, and 6 divided by 3 is a 2. So we have a negative 3 over 2 when we simplify 9 6. And there we got it. We evaluate y minus 5 6 when y equals a negative 2 thirds, and we got a negative 3 halves. I hope you learned something here on how to evaluate variable expressions with fractions. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.